like mangas. There are seeds inside, it may not have a gourd, it's a very specific, you know, capacho is are the seeds that are put inside the maracas, and you're like, okay, you know, sounds pretty good. Um, <laughs> it comes with such complexity and artistry and physicality that I had never imagined, and I was so excited to learn more about. And so, I, don't, I wasn't planning on making you try these, but there, when I started lessons with my teacher, Jeremy Smith, um, who is not uh, Venezuelan or did not learn the music in a traditional sense, he learned it by becoming fascinated with the music and personally invested in the sound that he heard that was creating. And so that made him seek out teachers, um, one who we'll see in this video of Manuel. Um, and you'll see where this music is going, or where this instrument is going, um, but he started off with learning a few basics. And I didn't understand the simple action of trying to make this sound could be so challenging and so complex. So we started with just trying to get an articulate sound on our instrument, and being so nervous, I really hope that this sound <laughs> will be great. <laughs> and so we started slow, and we practiced slow, and it was about just finding that articulation, and the goal is not to hear those seeds move around. Yeah. <laughs> and so a lot of horopo is simultaneously in people and triple at the same time. And so, <laughs> her book stems from this uh, conglomerate of cultures that are both Spanish or um, European and African and South, uh, South American. So, um, stemming from Fandango, her traditionally means uh, the word in Spanish means party. And so, this taking place. It was trying to be a party. And at times the party would last for weeks, or it could be just something that happened every week. But so this sort of six eight feel, uh, we start with like this basic rhythm that would sound kind of like this. So and then we get more complicated and he adds the idea of a brush stroke. And so the brush stroke if you guys heard like a snare drum or something, but the idea is that the seeds are running around the outside of the gourd and creates a continuous sound. Oof. I'm trying to make Jeremy crap right now. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the starts of what we're working with. So I can get the articulation. And then he was like, oh yeah, let's like push it. And there's like this little like four stroke kind of rough in my Western vocabulary that he didn't have a name for. And none of these terms did I know, we don't, I don't know, and he doesn't know the traditional vocabulary for it. So I'm gonna just speak from a Western standpoint. Sorry. Um, but this four stroke rough where you go and to line it up, you're supposed to uh, to keep it in time and in the rhythm, you are also simultaneously moving this guy at the end of that step. So, up, yeah, so. Oh, nice. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. yeah, but do you hear how? So, you really got to work on that articulation. And I relate it to some people, like, you're almost throwing a paper airplane or a dart, like, from the back mm -hmm. to the ground. And so I'm just going to play you guys a little bit of what I've been practicing to a backing track that was created. And then we're going to check out where this music is, how virtuosic and how incredible this instrument, right, like seeds and gourd, can be. And what I found most fascinating about it is how visceral this instrument is. Um, being a percussionist, I feel like there's such a physicality to it, but never before have I felt so physically connected to an instrument because you have to predict and you have to physically feel where those seeds are. And 
uh, there's such a vis visual aspect to that presentation, mm -hmm. as well as being so in tune with what the sound is going to be. So this is kind of, I'm on a, I'm a Malento. I do need to qualify this. Um, this music is played so incredibly fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an accurate representation of the tempo. But... <laughs> Now, what up? Uh, come in. And if you don't have a spot where you can see this, you're 